Welcome to our week on Tessellations. This week, I'm going to show you how to use Google Drawings to make a design that tessellates using geometric shapes. And you might be interested to do a design like this either in ceramic clay or in glass. And this is a fun way to play around with design ideas quite quickly. So for example, I've just put three six-sided hexagons in a row. And then on the top, I've put three triangles. On the bottom, I put three triangles. And now I'm going to um, select all of this as a group and duplicate it quickly. So right now, I'm going to use the arrow key. I'm going to highlight the first shape by clicking on it. And you'll notice when I can click on a shape, the four-sided arrow that's my cursor, uh, my, my cursor changes to a four-sided arrow. So notice when I can select an object, my cursor changes from a white arrow to a four-sided arrow. So if I just hold down the shift key, and move around my design so I select all of the pieces. But you have to wait until you see that four sided arrow. And it looks as though the bottom triangle is already selected, but I always click on it. Even though it looks like it's selected, I know I did not select it. So as a group, I'm going to rotate the whole thing. And you'll see that the display tells you what angle it is. And this is 45 degrees. That's where I want it to be. And then now I'm going to hold the control button. And notice my cursor is the four-sided arrow. And I can click and drag. And I didn't quite get it in the place I wanted to. So I'm going to use my arrow keys to position this exactly where I want it. So on my keyboard, I selected the down and over arrows until it was positioned exactly where I wanted it. And I think that's good. So now I can hold the control button again, click, and drag it over. And if you'll notice, there's like red lines that show up. So if you find you move it around until a red plus shows up, that tends to be where you want it to be. So that wasn't the case there. So I'm just going to drag it over, get it close, and then line it up with my arrow key, arrow keys, and this design is on an angle, so it's a little bit more complicated than just shifting it up or down or over. I think that's where I want that. And then I'm going to also click and drag, holding the control button first then click and drag, and now I'm going to duplicate it again and drag it over here. There. See the red vertical line and the red horizontal line? That should be really close to where you want it. It's probably dead on with where the one was that I initially picked up. So I can get a couple different designs happening here. I can get this wavy pattern going on, but I also can get the, at the bottom, I'm going to lay them out a little bit differently so that you can see one half of it I'm going to do one way and the other half I'm going to do another way. So I'm going to click and drag this. 
holding the control key first. Drag it over here. Just gonna try and line it up. And so I'm getting kind of a star pattern over here if I line it up so that the green triangle is not next to another green triangle. But if I line it up so the green triangles are right next to each other, then I get a different kind of pattern. So it's kind of fun to come up with a little collection of shapes, group them together, and then align them next to each other and kind of stagger them a little bit and see what kind of designs you can come up with.